Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I want to talk about level 20 starts and why they are the optimal choice. And what I mean by optimal is getting the most benefit in terms of perks. Uh, first we need to leave the vault and have a look at our options. After the most recent update, when you create a new character and leave the vault, you are presented with this screen. It used to be that you would level up inside the vault, you would grab some or interact with some perk cards on a table and it would put you at level two and you'd just pick any perk that was level one or two. And that is different. So you can choose Battle, Re Battle Ready Dweller, which is level 20, and there are five pre-made loadouts. Or if you still wanna do it the old fashioned way, you can do level two. And that has changed a little bit. You can actually look, you have five different choices and it's basically, you can pick the perk card that you want, but you only have five perk cards to choose from. So you don't get as much choice as you had before. Now, it doesn't matter which one of these you choose in terms of your gear. So. The only thing that's different is the perk, the weapons, the armor, the food, the, the aid, and the junk, the ammo. It's all exactly the same no matter, no matter which one of these you choose, which is kind of strange. You would think if I chose a slugger perk, I would actually get uh, a baseball bat or a two-handed weapon when I left the vault, and no, that's not how it works. In fact, let's choose slugger. Uh, we'll leave the vault, and I'll actually show you what a level two start looks like in terms of gear. So here we are, fresh out of the vault, and as you can see, uh, the backpack that you get is actually different. So it's not just a different look, it's actually a different backpack. It's the same benefit as the one we got before, uh, but there is a little difference to that. In the past, you had to go to the airport to get a uh, the backpack plan from the Overseer's Cache. That's no longer the case. You actually start off with the vault Tech Survival Backpack Plan, so you can upgrade it as your level. Uh, as you level up, you can actually level up your backpack without having to go to the airport first. Now, for those people that don't want to start a new character or want to know that backpack plan on an existing character, you can go to the lumber mill. You can see it's just a little bit south of the vault and there are responders there. And one of them, I believe her name is June and she is a vendor and she actually sells the plan for that backpack. It's really cheap. It's a hundred caps somewhere in that neighborhood. So for those that want that backpack plan, that's where you go. Now, as far as the gear, uh, no matter which one of the perk or which one of the uh, starts you choose for level two, Everything is the same. So you get a 10 mil pistol, a combat knife, and five frag grenades, uh, which is the same as before. That's what you start off before this most recent update. This is a little different. Uh, it used to be that you started with just a leather chest. Now you start with a full set of light leather armor. It is unmodded. Uh, the apparel is the same. You get, uh, well, the backpack's are different, but it's, it gives you the same benefit. Five carry weight, vault tech jumpsuit, party hat, black rim glasses. Uh, you get a little bit of food. Uh, you get a bit of aid. You get 25 stim packs, 20 rad away. Only one Radex, which I think is kind of funny. They they would rather uh, cure your radiation than protect you from it. You get bobby pens, which I think is different. I don't I don't believe you got bobby pens before, which is nice. Uh, you get a, two repair kits, two scrap pit kits, which you got before. A couple of hollow tapes. Uh, there's your plan for the backpack. Uh, you get quite a bit of junk. You get the Vault Tech supply crate plus other miscellaneous things. I don't know if this is different than before, but it it sure feels like it's more but I don't remember. I never paid attention to that very much, so I couldn't tell you if that's different. And you get five, a little over 500 rounds of 10 millimeter ammo. Now let's have a look at the uh, level 20 starts. So with level 20, uh, not only are the uh, perks different, but your gear that you start with, at least in terms of weapons, is different. So with Commando, you'll start with a combat rifle. Slugger, you start with a baseball bat. Gunslinger, you start with a Western revolver. Shotgunner, you start with a pump action shotgun, and VAT Specialist, you start with a 10 millimeter pistol. Another thing that's nice about these is you actually start off with the plan for that primary weapon. So you'll start off with a combat rifle plan, a baseball bat plan, a Western revolver, a pump action shotgun, or a 10 millimeter pa uh, plan, depending on what you choose. Now, the nice thing about the shotgunner getting that pump action shotgun plan, a uh, pump action shotgun is actually a random a random drop plan. It's not one that you can go find in an NPC vendor like you can with all the others. So that makes Shotgunner kind of attractive, especially if you want to start a Shotgun character. I think level 20 is especially uh, an improvement over starting at level two. Now with all these loadouts, there are tweaks I would make here and there, but really the point I want to make is the actual benefit you get is the perks, is how many perks that you get. So here's the Shotgunner, here's the Shotgunner loadout. Now, if you, if you add up all the perk points that you have, or all your special points rather, it adds up to 26. And as you can see, they're all filled in. Now, because Lone Wanderer is actually a three point card, even though it says four, it's actually three perk points. That means we're getting 25 perk points uh, worth of perks just in the loadout. 
if I had leveled up from level two, that's 19, that 19 level ups. I would have only got 19, 19 perk points worth of perks. Now the VAT specialist is the only one that's different because it gives you awareness, which is another, it shows it's, it takes up two perk point slots, but it's actually a one point card. So VAT specialist, you actually get 24 points worth of perks, but it's actually even better than that. So what I'm going to do is just select one of these. I think I'll pick shotgunner and we'll leave the vault and I'll actually show you uh, why it's even better than that. All right, here we are outside the vault at level 20, and you can see it looks the same. Uh, we have the same backpack. Obviously, it's leveled to us, and the gear, it's still light leather armor, but now it's level 20 instead of level 1. And the gear is pretty much all the same, except your weapons. It'll change depending on uh, which of the loadouts you have, but your armor, your uh, the food, the drink, the chems. You can see the chems are a little different, actually. You get a bobblehead which I think is fun, but yeah, you get a bobblehead with all of them. It depends on which one you choose. You get a few more chems. You could see the, uh, I get three Radex instead of one, <laughs> but the Radaway stim packs are the same. I mean, it's all basically the same. You get the same uh, bobby pins, uh, repair kits, uh, scrap kits. You get the uh, the vault Tech survival backpack, but here's your plan for your primary weapon. You get the same, looks like the same amount of junk and the ammo is going to depend on what weapon you chose but we get 200 shotgun shells, which is actually quite a lot, and we get 120 for the 10 mil pistol. So when you uh, choose the level 20, you do not miss out on any of your perk packs. Uh, if you had gone from level two to level 20 on your own, there would be six different points when you would get perk packs, level four, six, eight, 10, 15, and 20. So there's your six perk packs. So those are all intact. So you're losing nothing there. That is the same as, as before, uh, but if you see down here, you actually have an extra extra five points of cards that you could switch out if you wanted. Now, they do have the Inspirational, only rank two, but they do have that. So you could take out Lone Wanderer, put in Bodyguards, and Inspirational. So there's a little bit of benefit for, uh, or a little bit of boost for XP. So the total benefit is actually really good. So we have 25 perk points that are already, or worth of perks, already equipped. And we have an additional five down here. So that's that's 30 points of perks that we start off with. And if we had leveled up from level two to level 20, we'd only have 19 points. So that's an 11 point difference. And even if you scrap those 11 difference, that's an extra 22 perk coins. So that's a really big benefit. So for anyone who's looking to min max, I think this is definitely the way to go. So there are some disadvantages to starting at level 20. Uh, the first of them being the caps. I have 100 caps on this character at level 20. And that's a bit of a disadvantage versus if I had started at level two and leveled, uh, leveled myself up to level 20, I'd certainly have a lot more caps than that. Another is the junk. Now you do start off with quite a bit of junk, but this is all the junk that I have. Uh, I don't have a stash, a scrap box or a stash box full of junk waiting for me, which I would have if I was, uh, if I started from level two and leveled up to level 20. And then we have weapon mods. Now this weapon comes modded. I mean, it does have mods on it, but because I just started, I don't know any mods. I have I have no way to apply mods to this weapon because I haven't scrapped any. I haven't encountered any guns at all, so I can't mod any weapon. Uh, and even if I wanted to, I'm still limited by the amount of scrap I have. So that's another a disadvantage as well. And I did find this when I was testing on the PTS and I was playing with the level 20 mods. Once you outgrow the weapon, it's it's you know you have the plan and you can uh, craft a new version of it, a higher level version. But then I go to mod it and I can't because I don't know any mods. In the long run, obviously that doesn't matter, but in the short run, it can be a bit of a frustration. But even with the disadvantages, I do think the uh, extra perk points, the extra perk cards that you gain, uh, really is worth it. And it makes level 20 starts a lot more compelling than I initially thought they would be. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.